In Isaiah 25 and 26, we find two different songs. Both of them have very practical applications and prophetic ones. But I think the best application for us today is that there's a song of praise for every season of life we go through. It took years of me leading worship, even leading through what seemed like an endless season of depression. And probably one of the most profound lessons I learned about worship is this, that God is worthy to be praised regardless of how I feel. I love the words in 1 John 3.20 where he says, God is greater than our feelings. But it took walking through that season to open my eyes to the purpose, the exercise, the need for weekly congregational worship. In my position, many times I sing at a funeral one day and then lead that same family in worship the very next. Knowing this has taught me the importance of singing eternal truths, not empty words. It taught me the need for us to focus on who God is and taking our eyes off of our circumstances to gaze upon the holiness and sovereignty of God together. In Isaiah 25, we see him praising God even in the, in the midst of judgment. In Isaiah 26, he's singing a prophetic, hopeful song of praise, knowing that God is just, mighty, and the God who has defeated death and will defeat evil forever. Let me leave you with some of the lyrics to Isaiah's song of praise. He will swallow up death forever. The sovereign Lord will wipe away all tears. He will remove forever all insults and mockery against his land and people. The Lord has spoken. In that day, the people will proclaim, this is our God.